Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part two of the same topic. We have already done few questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So we'll start with question number five. Find the number of ages in a polyhedron with 10 faces and 12 vertices. So let us write the given things first. We can write f is 10 and v is v stands for the vertices and f for the faces v is 12 and we want e why do we want e because we are going to use here the euler's formula where that is the e is the ages here so with the help of the euler's formula we are going to find out e so here the this is the formula f plus v minus e is equal to 2 so f is 10 v is 12 and we don't know e so what will you do here this will be 22 minus e is 2 so if we take this e on that side because this is minus you can also keep here so this will be 22 minus 2 is e so 20 is equal to e and you can also keep here see a minus e is 2 this 22 you will take here minus 22 so minus e is minus 22 plus sorry minus e is 2 minus 22 so minus e is minus 22 plus 2 so that will be minus 20 so both side minus means we can cancel out or we can do one thing e is that means here is 1 so minus 20 divided by minus 1 so minus minus becomes plus so e is 20 so anyways you can do it so the polyhedron has 20 ages. Can a polyhedron have 12 faces, 24 ages and 16 vertices? So we have to give reason. So F is 12, E is 24, V is 16. So what are we going to do here? We are again going to use the Euler's formula here. So F in place of F we can, this is a Euler's formula f is 12, v is 16 and e is 24. So when we solve this one, so what we can get here, 28 minus 24 is 2. So this will be 4. But 4 is not equal to 2. So what we can say, since the result is 4 and not 2, a polyhedron cannot have 12 faces, 24 ages and 16 vertices. Find the number of faces, ages and vertices in a prism whose bases are congruent polygons with 12 sides. A prism actually consists of two congruent bases and rectangular lateral faces. So we can say since prism has 12 sided, they said polygonal bases and there are two bases because here the ba whose bases are congruent. So here prism has two congruent bases. So we can say here since this is 12 sided and one it has two bases so we can say 12 into 2 that is 24 and vertices also here will so here this will be 12 into 24 so the vertices is 24. So now what we can do here for ages we will see this is for the uh, vertices now for ages means each base has 12 ages so here because it is a 12 sided polygonal base so this will this will be 12 edges and there are 12 edges connecting the vertices of two bases so total number of edges will be so there are 12 edges which are connecting the vertices of two bases so total number of edges will be 12 plus 12 plus 12 so that is going to be 36 so for faces, we will see prism has two polygonal faces and 12 rectangular lateral faces. So total number of faces will be 12 plus these two polygonal faces. That is going to be 14. So now we can see prism has 14 faces, 36 edges and 24 vertices. This is the 36 edges and 24 vertices. Can a polyhedron have 12 faces, 30 edges and 20 vertices and you have to name the polygon polyhedron so faces is 12 e is 30 that is the ages is 30 and vertices is 20 so this ULS formula is f plus v minus e that is 2 
So what we can do here? We can put these values 12 plus vertices is 20 and ages is 30. So when you solve this one, this is going to be 32 minus 30. So that will be 2. So we can say polyhedron can have 12 faces, 30 edges and 20 vertices. And this, the name of this is, the polyhedron is dodecahedron. Name and draw the solid whose number of faces and vertices are equal and the number of edges is 3 more than the number of faces. So now what did they say here? Faces and vertices are equal means f is equal to v. And then they said, and the number of ages is three more than the number of faces. So ages is three more. Three means plus three. Then the number of faces means f plus three. Hope this to, this is clear. So now we will use the Euler's formula. What do you have to uh, find out? Whose number of faces there means we have to draw the solid. Which what is that? So now what will you do here? This will write f as it is. In place of v, we can write f because f is equal to v. And in place of E, you can write here F plus 3. But now you have to put a bracket over here because these are two terms. So what will you do? You are going to put a bracket. You will write a minus. And then for E, you are going to put this in a F plus 3 in a bracket is equal to 2. Now let us solve this the same. Minus F minus 3 is equal to 2. So this my plus F minus F get cancelled. F minus 3 is 2. So what you can get here? F is equal to 2 this will go here that is going to be plus 3 so f is 5 so now what we can see here because we know that f is f is v so we got f is 5 so f is equal to v so v is also going to be 5 and e is what we have seen that that is f plus 3 so e we can write in place of this f we got as 5 5 plus 3 that is e is 8 so now what did you get f is 5 v is 5 and e is 8 so f is 5, v is 5 and e is 8. So this solid is a square pyramid. And they said you, know, you have to draw that one. So this is the figure 4. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.